everyone. Let's talk about push D and pop E. This came up on the Reddit forums. Questions about how push D and pop D worked. So let's hop into a shell and let's take a quick look at these commands. Um, now, for people that are fairly new to PowerShell, it might seem more foreign. If you've been with um, other shells in the past, uh, these might be more more common for you to use. So, what exactly is push D and pop D? Well, they're aliases for other commands. So, get alias push D is push location. And you know what? Get alias pop D is pop location, which still doesn't tell you a whole lot about it. Um, let's check out the help. Get help on push location. And it probably doesn't have a whole lot there, does it? Okay. So if you're familiar with the stack at all, it basically pushes the current location onto the stack. So you can pop it off later. It's a roundabout way of basically creating a bookmark of your current location and retrieving it later. So let's say I'm working in a certain folder, um, doing some work. I've got nothing in here, but you know, let's say I'm, I don't know what to do. You're you're in your working in a folder, and you're like, oh, I got, I need to go. I need to jump out of my working space here and do something real quick. So you can do push location to push this location on the stack. So I basically bookmarked this point in time or this, this folder. Now I can change to say my home folder, go to my documents, CD, scripts, and do some work over here. Once now if I'm done. And I want to go back to where I was. That's where you do the pop D or pop location and pops you right back over there. It basically retrieves that bookmark. Now, if you try this again, you know, if I get lost somewhere, um, I can only use pop as many times as, as I've used push. So if I do pop now, Nothing, nothing bookmarked left because it actually uses the bookmark when you when you pop it off. So let's let's build up two of these here. Let's get um, five demos here. Okay. Let's make a directory first and make a directory second. All right. So we see the first. And from here, I'm going to push directory. Push this directory onto the stack. And I'm going to go somewhere else, do some work, and go into the second folder and push this directory onto the stack. So I go somewhere else and do some work. I want to go back up my stack. If I use pop D once, I go to the second folder. If I use it again anywhere, I go to the first folder, right? So we do pop D, I'm back in the second folder. I know the first one is next to the stack. I can even you know, empty something else and still do a pop D from here to go back to the first folder. So it's basically putting bookmarks, like pieces of paper on a, on a table on a stack, bookmarks, and then pulling them back off as you work your way down. And that's the simple way to use it. We can 
you can push and change folders at the same time. So I use this push the push the current directory. But I think I can change to push location. Right. Push location to path, which is a you know temp documents. When I do it this way, I automatically jump to the directory. So instead of doing like cd folder, use push d folder, and then you can always pop back to where you were. So let's 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 let's, let's, let's take this approach, right? So from here, let's let's do push d to temp. Push D to C. Push D to first. Now I want to go somewhere else. Push D to my home folder. I do push D to um, do documents again. Push D to scripts. Now, if I'm going to go backwards, right, I go up to my documents. If I do it again, I'll go back up the folder. I'm basically going backwards down my path. If I do it one more time, I'm going to pop way back to that, that first folder, right? So hopefully, just seeing these examples in action um, kind of gives you a use case on how you would use it. So practical applications, like coming new into scripting, you may not see a good way to utilize it, but if you ever have a command or a script that just has to run from a certain folder, um, and you're wrapping it around another script, it might make sense to push the current location of the stack, change to where that script is, and execute it. Because it's got you know, a relative path or something just kind of goes up in it. And then you push, or then you pop back to where it was, leaving command prompts, you know, exactly how you want. Um, now, coming from traditional scripting, this is all about folders and directories, right? But this can also apply to, you know, let's say we're in our, okay, let's see, our scripts folder, and I want to jump into the registry and do something. So, push D, I put this folder, I push the path, and then I'm, I'm going to go uh, CD, HKL, M. CD, Software, CD, Microsoft, CD, Windows, or whatever, right? And then, oh man, I need to, I need to check out something in AD real quick, or any other PS Drive providers. So, I can push into the registry, or push the registry, get PS Drive, what's I got loaded here? Oh yeah, search. CD search. Current user CD. And you know, wherever I want to go. And then I'm like, okay, I'm done here. Let me go back to the registry where I was. Pop D. Oh, let me go back to the folder I was working in, right? So that's how you can use basically push location, op location, um, to, put some, to navigate back and forth. Anyways, like that's just a quick one-off. Since people are asking on Reddit, it felt like a good opportunity to um, discuss it a little bit more. So with that, I will 
to let you go and let me know what you think.